Morning folks and welcome back. This video is about my top five UK based small independent outdoor gear makers and manufacturers. We have a thriving well established range of designers, makers and manufacturers in the UK from the big boys like Rab, Snugpack, Terra Nova, Montaigne, right down to the small independent one man bands who are working hard to satisfy the demands for quality handmade outdoor gear. And this video is all about those smaller makers who I'm always keen to try and support whenever I can. It was really difficult to keep this list to just five. It could easily have been 50 or more. There are so many great designers and makers out there. I'm gonna add a load more in the description box, put a list together there but I just couldn't include them all in the video. It would end up being hours long. With Christmas just around the corner, I thought this might be quite timely. Plus with the current uh, lockdown restrictions in place, it's really difficult to get out and, and shop for Christmas for our loved ones. So hopefully this little list might be helpful if you're thinking about buying something outdoorsy for your outdoorsy loved one or for yourself. I'm gonna cover a range of gear within the video, varying in price from a few pounds up to a few hundred. So whatever your budget is, hopefully there might be something that will suit. First up is Ben and Lois Orford. Ben has been making knives and other cutting tools in his craft lab workshop in Herefordshire for years. Anybody who has one or has ever used one will vouch for their quality. They are superb knives made with the most amazing steel, handcrafted, stunning, absolutely beautiful knives. Ben's wife Lois is a leather maker and she makes a wide range of belts, pouches and other leather goods as well as all the sheaths for Ben's knives. Absolutely stunning leather work gorgeous. I've been using one of Ben's pick knives for a few years now and it is without doubt my favourite carving knife. Superb quality steel, comfortable handle and an absolute pleasure to use. His knives combined with Lois's leather work just scream quality. If you head over to Ben and Lois's website you'll find a whole load of other things that they sell including blankets and canvas goods, axes, saws, clothing and these hats as well as other things knitted by Buffy. I wear this hat pretty much all winter long. It's really comfortable and really warm. Absolutely love it. My second choice is TJM Metalworks. I was introduced to Trevor's range of campfire ironware a year or so ago by Zed, and I've become a huge fan ever since. Working from his forge in Essex, he produces a range of grills, tripods, fire anchors, hooks, and accessories that are not only beautiful to look at, but designed to withstand years of heavy use in the hottest campfires. High quality hand forged ironware that will last a lifetime. I have a few bits of his gear now. The classic original mini fire anchor. Although it packs up small, in use it provides a clever and versatile cooking platform. The grill you can cook directly on, or you can use it as a support for a larger pan like a frying pan or a kettle. It's also got a gypsy hook for hanging a billy can or a kettle or something like that. And both of them are adjustable up and down. You can also swing them out of the way and off the fire when you need to take them off the heat. Much safer than other options. I also have one of his spit roasters, which is ideal for roasting a joint of meat or a bird over the fire. And it has a second prong so that you can secure the meat on so it doesn't spin around on the main skewer. It has different positions so you can rotate and lock the meat while it cooks and you can adjust the height by pushing the legs into the ground or raising them up. This lightweight folding campfire grill is also a brilliant bit of kit. It's got a bigger surface area, so it's ideal for if I'm cooking more food or for group use, but it still folds flat for transportation. The height is adjustable, again by simply pushing the legs into the ground, or you can take them off and use it as a throw down grill supported on rocks or logs. I also have one of his pocket anchors, which is just genius. You don't need the rod that usually pushes into the ground, instead you just cut yourself a bit of green wood and use that in the same way as the mini fire anchor. It works with different thicknesses of pole, and the bracket sort of digs into the wood so it stops it slipping down and you can adjust it up and down and rotate it out of the way. There are two hooks, one long and one short, so you can use one for your pot and the other one to hang a cup up to dry or whatever, or you can just use it as a hook to hang up your lantern or your coat or whatever. Yeah, really superb gear. Third up is Trevor's brother, David Fryers. As many of you will already know, David makes superb quality, heavy duty bags, pouches, kneeling mats, and all manner of canvas and textile goods. He's come up with a complete modular storage system to organize your gear in your pack and protect items while making them easier to find. 
pouches and bags designed to fit certain popular items of kit. First aid kit pouches, possibles pouches, food bags, box pouches for clothing and sleeping kit, you name it. He also makes bags to store Trevor's ironwear, protecting the rest of your kit from the certain cooking grease that they always end up getting covered in. I have a few of David's bags that I've been enjoying using lately. This food bag has become a firm favorite. Loving the Velcro and roll top closure to keep insects out of my food. This little Tranger burner pouch, a variety of box pouches that I use to organize clothing, wet weather gear, camping and cooking gear when I pack it away. And this handy zip top possibles pouch, which slips easily into the lid of a rucksack. And I use it to hold all those little items that would otherwise get lost in the bottom of my pack. Next up is Bob and Rose from Backpacking Light, the people behind the superbly well-designed honey stove. These have become a popular choice within the outdoors community in the UK and across the world. I've had one for several years and I absolutely love it. They're compact, super lightweight, run on free fuel and are simple in their design. There are no moving parts, so there's nothing to wear out or fail. When assembled, they provide a good sized cooking area and run on just a couple of handfuls of twigs or pine cones that can be collected from around you. They also work really well with an alcohol or methylated spirit burner like the Tranja or with solid fuel tablets. There are two versions, one in stainless steel, but they also do a titanium version for all you ultralight backpackers out there. You can also get an extension kit for the honey stove called the Hive, which adds two sides, makes it a much bigger stove, ideal for group use or even for use as a, a sort of small fire pit. There's a smaller version called the Pocket Stove, which is even more compact and lightweight with just four sides. Still works with a Transia burner, but it's perfect if you want something a bit more compact. These stoves are only part of what Backpacking Light are all about, so if you go and check out their website, you'll find all manner of super light backpacking gear. And lastly, we have Outhouse. If you're after that old time retro frontier style of camping, then Outhouse offer a range of nostalgic canvas gear. From heavy duty canvas tarps to cleverly designed Aussie style canvas swags. Tough canvas, naturally breathable, easy entry with flaps and covers. These have become favorites amongst many bushcrafters, canoeists and vehicle based campers as they provide a warm, comfortable shelter with a small footprint that you can set up quickly. And being canvas, the odd spark from the campfire won't harm them. They also do a really cool Land Rover tent, which clips onto the side of your Land Rover and provides shelter for two. As well as the canvas gear, they also produce these warm merino blankets, which wrap up in their own leather carrying straps. Perfect for chilly evenings around the campfire, or even as your main bedroll for those minimalist bushcraft camps. So these are my top five small UK based outdoor makers. Like I said earlier, there are hundreds of makers and manufacturers out there producing superb kits. I've got a lot of gear made by UK makers that I've grown to trust over years of use and abuse. Brands like Buffalo Systems, Paramo, DD, Tenth Wonder, Rab, Snugpack, Terra Nova, Berghaus, Bridgedale, Van Gogh, Alpkit. And then of course you've got Ginge who makes hammocks and quilts and all sorts of things. Richard with his fire troughs, Neil Andrews over at Greencraft, Rob Evans, the knife maker, so many, too many to list. But let's all try and support our UK based small industries. There are uncertain times ahead. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.